Good afternoon and welcome back to Paul Sherry Conversion Vans. My name is Justin Smith and today I'm going to do a video on another in stock unit that we have here at Paul Sherry Conversion Vans. What I have in front of me is the all new 2017 Sherry Ram Pro Master Conversion Van. Now this conversion van is a nine passenger raised roof on the 159 inch wheelbase and is done in flame red love that flame red with these black wheels and tinted windows sharp looking van um, just like all the pro masters that uh, we sell here this is on a front wheel drive platform it is paired up to a 3.6 liter pentastar v6 just under 300 horsepower and good for 20 plus mile a gallon on the highway now just like all the pro masters that you've seen here at the dealership all the body parts have been painted to match such as the front fascia the power mirrors, door handles, all your trim, and of course the ground effects. Now the wheel on this van is an 18 inch black wheel obviously. We do have a chrome wheel package for those that like the chrome. But again, this thing just looks sweet in that bright red. The black wheels, the black sherry sticker in the back. It's an awesome looking van. Stepping around here to the back, I want to take this time to go over some of the safety features that all the Pro Masters have to offer. Starting with the factory backup camera, located top dead center. Um, that's going to give you the most accurate visual out of just about any backup camera I've seen out there on the market. A lot of them are off to the side, and, uh, which really doesn't make sense um, since you uh, need to get an accurate visual of what might be behind you. But... The backup camera is paired to these factory backup sensors located in the bumper. And the way the system works is simply just put it in reverse. Um, what you're going to see is a color visual of whatever might be behind you on the van on your 5.0 Uconnect touchscreen radio. And you're also going to get an audible alert with these backup sensors that's going to intensify the closer you may become to an object. So if you're not paying attention to your screen, it's gonna yell and scream at you until you look at the screen that something's behind you. Um, of course, this van does have anti-lock brakes, traction control, hill start brake assist, and rollover mitigation, which is extremely uh, important in a high profile vehicle such as this. Now, if you got any questions on those safety features, what they actually do, how they work, uh, feel free to give me a call and I can get into more detail. Now, also, this van is um, equipped with a factory tow package and does include a seven pin and a four pin flat receiver. So no modifications uh, are needed to this van to hook up the small boat and head to the lake. Now, all Pro Masters are good to tow up to 5,100 pounds. Pretty impressive for a V6 um, front wheel drive platform. Now let's uh, open this slider here to the rear door. And before we go inside and check out this interior, I do want to talk about that sliding door. Yes, it is a manual sliding door. We do have the options for a power sliding door. Um, whether you're looking at this van for mobility applications or uh, just want a power door, it can be added. If you need information on that, give me a call and let me know. Um, like, I, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, front wheel drive, all of our ProMasters are front wheel drive. Well, of course, that makes us unique. We're the only front wheel drive full-size van on the market. So, you know, front wheel drive is obviously, obviously better than a, a real rear wheel drive platform. Um, and, you know, so those are a huge bonus we have over the competitors with this van. And uh, probably one of the best benefits that the front wheel drive gives us is the lowest floor in the industry. Now, because we are front wheel drive, have no drive shaft going to the back, allows us to have a lower floor, which is only 21 inches um, off the ground. And uh, I believe that's about 10 inches lower than the nearest competitor. I won't name any names, but um, so easier, you know, so it makes it easier and uh, to get in and exit this van as well. And once you're in this van, you got six foot four interior height. Now this is a factory raised roof, um, which in, and in many cases is, is obviously going to be better than uh, you know fiberglass cap glued up on top of the van. So from a safety standpoint, from um, ride quality, um, you don't get the body flex 
in, in our ProMaster race roof vans that you get in any of the vans that have been modified with a fiberglass roof. Okay, while we're looking up at the ceiling, I want to talk about the storage. We have got storage cabinets that go all the way around, and these are done in a gloss black finish. All of our rear windows have privacy shades. Have this one down so I can show you back behind that the recess shade behind the wall. And those are on all the windows back here. Now I didn't want to close them all. It's getting kind of late in the day and it's uh, I'm already fighting the, the early sunset. Fall, lovely Ohio weather. But uh, yeah, so what we have is a light gray upper wall ceiling and a black bottom wall. Black carpet, black interior with the sharp red pinstriping on all the seats to match the exterior paint. Now the rear sofa in this van is a power rear sofa. So what it will do is slide forward and back, give you the ability to recline and also the ability to fold completely flat uh, if you want to get some sleep on that long trip. Now, it's got a flip down armrest, but if you flip that up, this bench has seating for three, so you got three sets of seat belts. And in front of that, you've got the four captain's chairs. Now, these captain chairs will fully recline. They do feature power recline. They do swivel, and they'll slide back and forth. So, if you swivel these chairs that are right in front of the rear sofa, They'll actually butt up right with this rear sofa when it's flat and then accommodate somebody laying long wise here up to 6'3". Um, if they want to sleep in this van, you'll still be able to watch the TV going down the road or while lying down. Now I'm jumping all around, I apologize. Um, but back to these captain chairs. Yes, they have tether hooks located down here. All four captain chairs in this van have tether hooks plus the anchor on the back side of the chair. The seat belts for all of our captain chairs are integrated right in the seat. That is so much better than coming off of a pillar and, and all the way down. So it makes it easier for children to buckle themselves, easier to put a car seat in, and most importantly, if this seat is ever swiveled while in motion, you're going to be safe and secure no matter which direction you're facing. As far as electronics go in this van, this does feature a Vizio uh, 240 hertz LED smart television. So the latest and greatest technology there, and that is paired up to this Sam's, or I'm sorry, it's an LG Blu-ray player, and that is a smart Blu-ray player as well. So between the Blu-ray player, the TV, you've got a wide variety of applications um, that uh, any passenger would love to have. As far as rear heat and air goes, we have a Pro Air 2 system with a digital thermostat as you see here. And it does feature an auto feature, so you can just set the temperature and just uh, forget about it. It's going to do what it needs to do, whether it needs to intensify the fan speed or lower it. Uh, it'll uh, do whatever you uh, it has to do to get to that desired temperature. Rear radio here. that. Uh, will give the rear passengers the option to listen to their own music uh, while the person driving or mom and dad in the front want to listen to their own. You can listen to your own music through any Bluetooth device, uh, the FM tuner, um, and that's done through the wireless headphones. Got a 110 here and USB ports. These four toggle switches um, control the indirect lighting going down the midway point of the wall and also the lighting up in the ceiling and can we'll turn on the lights for the cup holders throughout the back of this van now all the seats in the back have USB charging except the seat sitting right by the door so there's plenty of charging outputs in the back of this van now that's pretty much wraps up the back Let's walk around here and take a look at the front of the van. And we'll get in the driver's seat here and go over some of the features. Now, this has all the power equipment that you expect to find in any modern vehicle, such as power windows, power door locks, keyless entry, um, factory remote start, 
Um, even a cool little feature here, um, power collapsing mirrors. So if you gotta tuck it in a tight spot or maybe your, your garage isn't very wide, you'll be able to do that and minimize your profile. Um, so the glass in the mirrors, heated glass. Um, the top part is power. If you can pick up that I'm moving it around here. And the coolest thing is, is even the blind spot mirror is power. Which you don't find that even in 60, 60 plus thousand dollar trucks. So that's a really cool feature. Steering wheel. Nice leather wrapped wheel here. Got the smooth leather on the bottom and the top and the perforated leather on the sides. Also have steering wheel controls on both sides of the airbag. Um, these these will operate your navigation radio, uh, voice commands. Uh, the navigation system is a Bluetooth system, so you can make hands-free phone calls, answer them without even taking your hands off the steering wheel, and obviously change sources through your radio, volume up and down, etc., etc. So you can do a wide variety of things without ever taking your hands off the the steering wheel, which is really nice. Now, the factory you connect 5.0 radio. This is an AM FM radio, does have satellite free for one year, XM satellite, a CD slot, which you don't see too many of those anymore, but if you still have CDs, you will be able to play them, and multiple connectivity inputs. Um, back in this little cubby right here to the right of the steering column, it's a nice little cubby right here, like it was designed for your cell phone. Um, you've got a 3.5 millimeter auxiliary input back there and a USB charging port that's wired directly to the back of the radio. So you can charge your phone and connect uh, your phone directly to the radio without having to use Bluetooth. Charging for the passenger, two options. The passenger has a USB charging port plus a DC port, 12 volt DC. Now this USB is for charging only. Um, it's not connected to the radio. As far as cup holders go up in the front of this van, there's plenty of those. You got three down here underneath the radio. Um, there's one on each side of the door panel and then another one over here as well. So it gives you a total of six. Uh, the seats up in the front, I forgot to go over that when I first got in. Same nice leather, pretty red piping. Now this is an eight way adjustable seat with a lumbar and recline and has factory heat on both front and passenger seats so that pretty much wraps up this 2017 flame red 159.9 passenger uh, sherry conversion van now if there was information that uh, i didn't pass along on this van maybe you had a couple questions on something else that you've seen on our website please don't hesitate to call there's always somebody around willing to answer your questions and for those of you that are in search of that perfect van uh, you get to find maybe just like the videos that we do here at the dealership um, we kindly ask that uh, you you like us on Facebook um, and even uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel that's gonna give you a better opportunity on not missing out on the next great deal here at Paul Sherry conversion vans once again my name is Justin Smith I hope you enjoyed thanks for watching